hi, hi, hi. Like and subscribe. Woo! Hey kid, today's book stars an animal we have never featured before. Is it a hedgehog? Uh, no. Is it a dolphin? Uh, where did that dolphin come from? Uh, no, not a dolphin. Bark, 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 bark. No, not a chicken either. Green Bear! What's up, storyteller? Well, Green Bear, uh, apparently all your toys are up. Oh, hey, chicky. Bark, 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 bark. Um, but they're kind of interrupting, so if you could put them away. Oh, okay, come on, just go this way. Bark, bark, bark. Yeah, it'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Okay, so perhaps you notice there's an envelope here because I wanted to show you how far this mystery book came to be with us. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Woo! <gasps> Look at that! Woo! Yeah, that envelope says, uh, uh, for storyteller, and whoa! All the way from Oxford? All the way from Oxford. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, but forgive me for the interruption. Oh, hello, Olivia the Ostrich. But it's pronounced Oxford. 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 No, 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 no. It is more like Oxfair. Oxfair. Now listen to me. I am Olivia's best friend, and she pronounced it clearly Oxfied. I thought it was Oxfair. That's definitely not it. Oh, I need a tea. Maybe we should just read. Okay, so here we go. Here's the magic book. Ta -da! This book has alpacas and bears. Looks like a winner already, especially the bear part. Yes, but the alpaca is the one we've never had before. We've had many bear stories because, well, you know, we have a lot of bear influences around here. But let's see what else is in store in our very first Bulk of an alpaca. This book has alpacas and bears. Uh, does the bear look slightly upset? The alpaca looks happy though. Yeah, everything's fine. See, oh look, he's even wearing an I love alpaca hat. Where do you get one of those? When he wasn't busy munching grass, Alfonso the alpaca loved nothing more than relaxing with a good <gasps> kid time, story time. What? And not just one, oh no, How? not just a good story. Look at him, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then, you know what, let's just say a lot of kid time story times. And this is the perfect little setup with the book. And he's got, oh, and he looks like he's got a squirrel bestie who's hanging around. And he's got a, a CD player and a uh, little shade, a perfect chair. This is pretty sweet. But as he looked at everything around him, Alfonso realized something was wrong. Ba, ba, ba. Very wrong. Ba, ba, ba. But before we turn the page to find out what's so wrong, let's take a closer look at these fascinating bear titles. Uh, bears everywhere. Bears rule. Be more bear. Bear it. Bear and power. Fifty shades of bear. King bear. So many fabulous bear books. We need to read more of those. Okay, pink bear, I'll, I'll get on that. But for now, let's keep reading the alpaca book. Bears are everywhere. Alpacas are nowhere. Bears, bears, bears. Cuddly, friendly, grumpy, and hungry. Every type of pesky bear. <clears throat> Watch it, bub. But not a single alpaca. Well, now that he mentions it, we did only see bear books in his pile. I think he's suffering from the green-eyed monster. This is a disaster, said Alfonso. We need alpaca stories, and we need them now. And I'm just the alpaca for the job. Meantime, uh, let's see what else he had here. He had a, a bear EP of amazing sounding bear music. And uh, Bear Mom, very popular video game. Uh, Super Bear, The Bear Who Came to Tea, that's a very good movie. Dance Like a Bear, followed up by Dance Like a Bear That Nobody's Watching, which is also very, very moving. Uh, a Bear Story, Bear Magic. So, off Alfonso bounced to get started on this alpaca for the job rounding up alpaca stories, but holding a pen with his feet was, um, hmm, awkward. 
And Alfonso didn't have much luck with his tail, right, squirrel? No, doesn't look quite right. Or even his mouth. Oh, no, he, he accidentally bit it. That's what happens when you put it in your mouth. I can't do it, said Alfonso as he flopped down onto the grass, looking utterly dejected. So he decided to visit his friend Colin, a bear. Even his best friend is a bear. Hi, Colin, let's write a fantastic story about alpacas, said Alfonso. Not now, said Colin. I'm busy. Oh, as you can see, he is a bear of letters. And boy, does he have a lot that he's writing here. But why are bears always in stories? Asked Alfonso. It's not fair. We're cute, charming, and clever. Everyone loves bears, said Colin. Can't argue with that logic. But Alfonso was cute, charming, and clever too. Although alpacas do have a habit of spitting. <laughs> That's cute. I rest my case. But... Could he convince Colin, the bear scribe, to help him write a story about alpacas? I don't know. Colin seems very bear-focused. There's a bear clock and bear art, although there is his alpaca bestie. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Cute, charming, clever. After all, what's cuter than a baby alpaca? <laughs> and, and what's more charming than an alpaca with a bow tie? Or what's more clever than an alpaca with a degree from a higher university? Probably from Oxford, for Ford, that place. <gasps> Monday at Colin's yoga class. Colin, we need to write a book about an alpaca said Alfonso. Nope, said Colin. Tuesday, in Colin's bath cave. Oh, Colin, a relaxing bath. I bet you're thinking up ideas for our alpaca book, said Alfonso. Go away. Wednesday, at the cinema. And he is seriously stalking his bestie now. Please help me with my story, Colin. Shh, and the popcorn goes flying everywhere. And wait, he's not done yet, because on Thursday at the scooter park, but Colin, boing, boing, we'd be so good at it. Whoa! Impressive bouncing, but please leave me alone. Friday in Colin's bed cave. Oh, wow, that's really loud. Woo! We'd make a brilliant team, said Alfonso. No, said Colin. But why, asked Alfonso, over the super loud tuba. Because alpacas are noisy, clumsy, careless, and really annoying. <laughs> oh, somebody got real grumpy after all that endless stocking. Oh, Alfonso's big smile melted away. But then he realized something very important. Colin was wrong. Alpacas are great. And Alfonso decided to prove just how great alpacas really are. So he pulled on his dancing shoes. Whoa! Is this an alpaca dance party? Alpaca dance party. Alpaca dance party. Alpaca dance party. Dance party. Dance party. Then he shimmied around the field before pulling a delightfully fluffy rabbit from beneath his floppy fringe. It's an alpaca magic party. Alpaca with a bunny. Alpaca dance party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stood on his head while humming five nursery rhymes backwards. What? He gobbled five gigantic grass pies in less than five minutes? Hmm, interesting. Wow. And yeah, squirrels keeping time. Yeah, squirrels right, right there, like solid. He showed off his skateboarding skills. Woo! Alpaca's rule. Look at him. Whoa, Alfonso. Alpaca. 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 Then he strummed on his electric guitar. Rock and roll. Peace, man. Far out. Rock on. And for his grand finale. 
Rapunzel performed the four-legged splits in mid-air. And everybody in the crowd was like, oh. And Colin, well, Colin couldn't believe his eyes. Whoa. I'm sorry, said Colin. I was wrong. You're not noisy, clumsy, careless, or annoying. Well, not all the time. Yeah, except there was that one week that he was stalking you, but otherwise. Alfonso, you should be in a story, and you can make it happen. If you need help, I am right here. Oh, good, because Alfonso has a bit of an issue. Well, starting with holding the pen. Woohoo! I knew you'd see it my way, eventually. It's going to be the best story ever, said Alfonso, looking excited. And now the work begins. Oh yeah, now comes the hard work. Panel one shows us doing the writing. Okay, write these down. Okay, so he's transcribing all his big ideas because, again, Hand issues. Number two, sharing, because we need a little, um, a little liquid refreshment and a little snacky snack for the energy to keep on writing. And then comes the rewriting and correcting. That's right, revisions are an essential part of the book creation process. And then number four, drawing and coloring. Draw that bit green. Oh, and I see that the illustrator is the squirrel. Number five, final checks. Let's look at it. Oh, look, do you see that page? That's the one that captures the whole amazing midair thing. Yes, look at that. There, there, there. Captured perfectly, squirrel. Good job. Number six, printing. And then, ta-da! Finished story. And the cover looks remarkably familiar. This book is fabulous, said Colin. I know, said Alfonso. And the best thing is, this is only the beginning. I've got plans, Colin. And Colin looks a little shocked. Uh -oh. And if you look here, the back is the back is, yes, it is the book we just read. Great plans, announced Alfonso. Check out the full Alfonso trademark range of products available absolutely everywhere. Uh, uh, we heart alpacas and the, the game, the alpaca who came to tea and uh, this one Alfonso and then this one's a toy Alfonso and then uh, eyeglasses and lunch boxes and wow, Alfonso turned out to be not just a writer but an entrepreneur which is a gigantic word that means a business-minded alpaca. <laughs> His next book should have a camel. Well, actually, camels and alpacas are cousins. No way! One lump or two! Yes. His next book should be about spitting. Spitting? His next book should be about a spaceman with a hedgehog. Green Bear, your toys are loose again! <laughs> Okay, you know what? Maybe in the next one we'll have a chicken. Uh, Kit, we'll see you next time on Kit Time Story Time. Green Bear, you need to get your toys!